We're here in beautiful and ridiculously dramatic Hood River, Oregon, about 60 miles east down the Columbia River from Portland, literally in the shadows of Mount Hood. At Y East Middle School, like so many places across the country, they've been forced to get creative with where and how they teach. This is an awesome space that's so ready for an idea paint makeover. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Adam Howell. I am a physical education and health teacher at Y East Middle School in Hood River, Oregon. Two weeks ago, my classroom looked like this. Cozy, technologically capable, and I even had a nice whiteboard to use. Unfortunately, two weeks into the school year, I was forced to move to a different classroom. So I went from this classroom to this. We had started the school year and we were teaching in two different areas. We had a room in the building for health and we had uh, PE here in the gyms and logistically things just were a mess. They look good on paper but in practice they were they were really messy so especially with locker room supervision and we were stuck. We couldn't come up with any ideas. We were trying to brainstorm solutions and we couldn't. I had found out we had to move rooms up to the wrestling room and I had gone home on a Friday and I thought I was gonna have to do the transformation by myself over the weekend. And so I'm calling friends like, hey, can you help out? Can you do this? And uh, So I'm just sitting at my computer unwinding. I came across Idea Paint's Facebook page and I saw that they were running this contest. I was, I was kind of floored. I was like, this is just perfect timing. I thought maybe we've got a pretty good story to tell and we want to tell it, so. Adam, great to meet you. Keith, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Really excited to be here. We were all really impressed with the video submission. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about your crew and what you have going on here? Awesome. Well, uh, we teach PE Health here. It's yep. combined two subjects together. This area right here is our gold gym. This is where we teach our PE classes. Uh, we teach them in two gyms over there and here. And then upstairs is an old wrestling room, and that's what we uh, decided to convert into uh, the health classroom this year. Classroom's right over the gym. Right over the gym. <laughs> so it sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Uh, yes, we do. We've, we've been preparing it, and it's kind of a disaster area, so. Can't wait to see it. Why don't you show me around? All right, let's go. Okay, so this is our stairway up to the, the wrestling space, which we've now converted into the half classroom. And half mat room. So you're actually currently teaching out of the space. I am currently teaching out of this space. This is it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So much potential. So raw, but so much potential. Yeah. So walk me through a little bit. So this is the front of the classroom. Yes, this is the front of the room. And we can go this way, just work our way around the room. This is uh, going this way. That That's the mat portion of the room where we have okay. Our, our rock wall and our wrestling mats still. Um, if we work this way, we've got the back of the room right here um, where I've used some dividers to try to form a classroom boundary, but we only had enough to do half the class. All right, so back here, it's wrestling activity space? Yes. And this is the actual classroom area? That's right. So yeah, I can see that you tried to define it, and that's something that Idea Paint will definitely make it very clear where the work and teaching space is. So really excited to help with that. Perfect. Let's check this out. Okay, over here. When Keith came in, we were you know, talking ideas and whatnot, and I wanted to let them you know, explore those ideas. My specialty is what I'm doing in the classroom, so Idea Paint specialty is what they do. And I wanted them to be able to transform the space in the vision that they had. I had certainly some ideas, and I thought we had some good space. But the discussions we had, I thought, you know, I think this is gonna work out good and I just, you know, trusted the process. Okay, so this is uh, the front of my room where I have been teaching and this is, uh, this is it. This is what, <laughs> this is my whiteboard. It's got a few football plays on here, but uh, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna do some drastic changes here. We're gonna really help you out, but it's unbelievable that you've been as effective as you have been with this. Yeah, uh, I read up our objectives for the day, set it right here and we get after it. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll do some work there. Uh, now, I heard also that you really involved your kids. Yeah, I did. Uh, we've, I've involved them right from the very beginning uh, with the filming and the video. And uh, then yesterday, I asked my sixth graders, I said, hey, I said, if you could have your ideal classroom space, I was like, what would it look like? So this is the actual plans from your students? Th these are plans from sixth graders at Y East, yeah. So I am really excited to go through these and see how our vision matches up with their dreams of the new space. All right, sounds good. All right, well, you got a couple dozen kids you've been neglecting while you've been up here with us. So let's get you back to them. All right. And we're not gonna let you back in here for another 24 hours. When you get back, 
place is gonna be completely transformed. Awesome, looking forward to it. All right, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. Oh, Adam. Yeah. Hall pass. Oh, thank you. All right, man, 24 hours later, I am ready to get you in there. Are you ready to see the classroom? I'm ready, as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> ready, ready. I'm ready, ready. All right, man, let's do it. All right, let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, What you were expecting? I can't believe how. I mean, honestly, I can't believe how bright it is. There's a lot of things here that we didn't know if we we're gonna get to them. So uh, I'm really excited to show you around. I'm gonna take you on a little tour. All right. I don't know if you can even remember what this thing looked like. We pulled it out of storage. It was gonna end up in a dumpster somewhere. And basically, the premise behind this is: What does every teacher need? A desk. Protection. <laughs> protection from the class. Protection from you know pop quizzes and all that stuff that happens. <laughs> we saw you teach before. You're not a stationary teacher. No. To have this thing on wheels, just rocking and rolling, I mean, this is your teaching style right here. Yeah, this is great. Uh, I could not function with a stationary desk. Yeah. I've had a cart all year, a little tiny cart. I love being able to post daily objectives on the board and I can put them right on the desk and teach from that and that's great. I'm yeah, feeling pretty comfortable that. back here. This is nice. Are you feeling protected? Yeah, I'm feeling really protected. <laughs> All right. So what's next? Black Idea Paint Floor. This is Mr. Howell's space. Do not enter. <laughs> so this is kind of your domain where it's a runway and you know it's something new for us, Black Idea Paint. Obviously the black is an awesome contrast against the huge, long, enormous, hundreds of square feet idea paint wall. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the whole wall, this is great. This, I mean, I, it goes for days. Uh, so all of a sudden, the kids are not ever gonna be without you know, a very close viewing distance of your lesson. Oh, it's great. I mean, I can have a whole unit, a whole three weeks worth of content up on the board. No squiggly lines <laughs> around and save this. Do not erase. Yep, absolutely. And it can just stay up there. That's awesome. So now let's check out some tables. Okay. Remember the old one? Yes. Brand new, old versus new. <laughs> they were gonna go to the right trash. Yeah. I mean, we didn't know what we we're gonna do. It was an easy solution to kind of repurpose them. I love doing activities where we're walking around and we're collaborating and we're writing. I used to have a whole stack of, you know, the paper with the adhesive that I could yep. just rip off and stick on the wall. Now, we can just write that on the tables. We can draw a brainstorm right here with, with whatever the word is we're talking about. Sure. We can build off it walk around to different tables, add to ideas or add to content. I can see you running all over the place <laughs> with the red marker. <laughs> just a man on a mission, just yeah. correcting as you oh, go, yeah. as everyone's totally. working. You're yeah. not gonna stop moving in this classroom and that's the really fun part. You mentioned the orange wall. I did. It's not a whiteboard. No, it's not. It's an orange board and it's huge. <laughs> it is huge. I mean, it's well bigger than both of us. So yeah, definitely. This was gonna be a dead space wall. One of the things I was most excited about when we started this project was that uh, we're right in the middle of our self-esteem body image unit and I thought, oh, it'd be great if we could have a wall that just was like an inspirational quote wall where I, it wasn't me, it was students and they could come in and just write anything they wanted on the wall and leave it for the next class. I absolutely love it. So not just making the color 
kind of the focus of the wall, but actually the way that you use the wall yeah. is the new kind of creative energy that's yeah. in here. And the fact that it's orange and it's bright and vibrant, I mean, it's going to be perfect for what it is we're going to do with it. That's the beauty of having all of this space is the way that you use it and the things that you can do outside of the norm does everything in the world to just make it this class of space. Yeah. That's yeah, an awesome right. idea. Yeah. So you're just going to make us one promise. Mm -hmm. Keep in touch. Send us pictures, send us videos, and just let us know how you're using this space. You know we will. We'll tweet about it. You'll hear all about it. Perfect. <laughs> all right. It's been so much fun working with you. Yeah. Enjoy the new home. Thank you. We will. It, it surprised me. It, it's in, in a good way. I mean, it's so much brighter. And uh, I'm a huge believer in getting kids up and moving them around the room. I mean, I'm a PE teacher. I, I teach movement every day, and I carry that over into the health classroom as well. So it's going to allow us to have a different canvas to write on, whether it's uh, you know, the tables or, or the wall or whatever it is. I'm excited to see what they do with it uh, and, and how they really take ownership of it.